All right, how you doing today? Today we're going to take a look at the session players in Logic and add in some guitar with some third party products. Very easily to do this, very easily. Very easy way to do this. Uh, please do check my other videos. I have hundreds of other videos in my back catalog, music production stuff. I will be making a lot more Logic Pro 11 videos as well. I also have a video on producing a song with all stock Logic plugin sounds and effects and plugins and stuff, whatever. So anyways, check that out too. Please subscribe. Anyways, let's get right into this. So we're just going to start off session players in Logic here. And let's just, you know, whatever. We'll just do this randomly. It doesn't have, have to be a, you know, a whole whatever. So we'll just pick the indie style drums for now. Create a part here. Uh, we'll just do an eight bar loop. We don't have to make a full song or nothing for this. And then we'll add in our bass player. Let's go with, we got the indie, we got the, Let's do the indie disco. I mean, this is just, I'm just doing this randomly. There's no rhyme or reason to any of this right now. <laughs> and then we'll throw in a keyboard player and we'll just create a track. Now we have the global track over here. And right now I selected to do it without any chords. So let's put some chords in here real quick. I mean, is, there's the C chord. We could just leave it that, but we want to get some fancy stuff going on here. How do we get rid of that? All right. So let's put a chord progression in here. Actually, just pick one from here. Chords. They should add more chord progressions in here, but they don't. So we'll just get with these for now. Um, there we go. So we have this chord progression here now, and we want to add that to the global chord progression. So we'll go here. I'm just going to get that out of the way. And we're going to put paste region chords to global track. And there we go. Now we have the chords up there. And then we'll create our, sorry about that. We'll create another instrument here, a third party instrument. And in this case, we're gonna use contact seven. And you could use different, I have different guitar players as well. Sound type, guitar. Let's pick out the session guitarist, the mint. All right, so that's loaded up. Now we need to trigger this and we could do that very easily. We're gonna get that out of the way for a second. And we're just gonna drag this global chord track down here into that section. And now we have down here, we just have block chords. Let's make this a little bigger. And the contact instrument uses, will use these chords to trigger what it's playing. Now we don't need the bass notes because that'll so we'll mute those and different instruments are going to have different um, ranges of where the triggers the guitar and such. This one starts at C2 here. And so the chords here are no lower than C2. That's why we muted the bass. Get that out of the way. Now we got some rhythms down here we can trigger. I have no idea what this is going to sound like even yet. So let's just test this out, see what happens. And then let's unmute that. Maybe some palm mutes. So there you go. Really quickly, I just created another session instrument that you know, in Logic. I didn't even listen to the song before I did it. Obviously, you're going to want to, you know, create something and I could start a song from this. 
And I could also take those same patterns, that same chord, block chords thing I have here, and you know, I could add in a pad sound if I wish to or something. I could use it on arpeggiators. Um, you could, I could change the range of where that guitar is playing. Let's move that up an octave. It just depends on your third party instrument. A little higher register. Maybe change the piano up there. Add another instrument and you know just go from here you know, maybe your studio strings you sort of play something from there drag that chord progression down hours of fun really quick all right so cool so check it out let me know what you think in the comments below let me know what else you want me to see me try here or something that you have tried yourself and yeah so check it out that is all for now i will talk to you soon